<laughs> when you did live. Uh -uh. Why they look like this? I, I wait now. Uh -uh. <laughs> oh, no. Why they look like this? Play, play me. Play, my boy. Play. See me. See him. See money. Yes! Wait, wait, not so fast. Wait. Uh -uh. What? Wait. What? What's he? Wait. You tell us what you do. Uh -uh. I beg you, which kind of sense would you be that? I'm sorry that you think that drop the money. What? How? Drop it. That leave the money, bro. Ah, Shit see, no. don't even try to deny it. I saw it. What is this? Where did it cheat? Where did it cheat? I beg, I beg, I beg. No bring that leg. I beg. Every time we play a game, one person one win, you go say he cheated. What did it cheat there? Let me, let me the game there. Ask him. Lester, what's in your own business? Eh? Can I be married? Yes. Uh, yes. yes. Can I be yes. married for See, you, don't you, do you better mind your business. You don't do you. Respect yourself. No, you put money for Ramo. Must you win all the time? Leave the money. Joe. I've been leaving money for Ramo. Yeah, this guy don't win. Yeah. So two of Nana don't they conspire against me. But see, this money, you know, collector. Who they conspire? Stop this money, Daddy. Leave who the they money against you. Why would they, we are saying the obvious? This one, the guy play game well, he win you. Leave the money for Ramo. Attire. Lester, I'm sick and tired of this whole attitude. What do you think you are? Huh? Eh? Uh, uh, Hillary, what thing they cause you they shout for me now? Now this small game where they play, they I make you they shout like this. Yes, because you're always getting in my way, just like you stood on my way trying to make it big in life. Wait, What's wait, your problem? Hillary, is this about that stupid deal that you brought? Now make you see the best. Eh? Is this about it? I can't even believe you right now. Lester. Just look at you. To hell with you. Hey, 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 wait, 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 wait. Lester. What the are you guys talking about, Ask Hillary? Ask this fool now. Ask him. Ah. Bro, he came to me some time ago that uh, uh, he had some buyers who wanted to buy the company's product. So we should just steal it. He needed my help because I'm in the stocking department. So we should just steal the goods and, and, and then sell to the buyer. What? I said no. Do you guys know what you are playing with? Huh? Let's talk. Do you guys know what you are playing with? That is fraud. And it will have landed you into a lifetime imprisonment, Hilary. Tell him. I said I don't want to be a part of that. You gotta look for a, a, a new a, a partner to, to do this one with. That's what he has been angry with me for. You know what, Lester? You are an idiot. Well, what does one expect from a bastard son? And that bastard you will remain. You got me. Hey, 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 hey. It's okay now. Hey, it's okay. Hey, you know what? Hey, I hey. can be a bastard, but I'm not huh? a brainless thief like you. God. Oh, oh, it's okay. Are you mad? It's okay. Are you mad? Are you mad? Hey, 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 hey. hey. Hey, hey, baby, it's okay. It's okay, hey, Are you mad? Hey, hey, it's very okay. It's a morning club. Hey, I'm not a bastard. I'm not a very stiff like you. Hey, 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 Understand, I don't understand. I don't understand why you allow some this useless idiot. All these vagabonds insult and bully you as if you have no strength in you. I've told you, Linda, not every time. Violence. Sometimes just let people show how empty and hopeless they are. Not to the extent of slapping you. He even called you a bastard. What if you're a bastard? Is this useless father better than us? Eh? What does he achieve with this useless life? Why would you call you a bastard? And you were you were just there doing nothing. See, you're allowing this poverty and hardship get, get uh, 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 the, 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 the best of you. Not every time that you You shouldn't have called you a bastard. Well, that is not the point. That Sometimes is the point. That That's why that's people people are, are, and he, he slapped you. Joe. 
My mother. Jo. My mother. My mother. What happened to her? She's having another crisis. Please help her, please. Go, 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 Mama, hey, my dear, <laughs> how was your day? Oh, I'm fine. Eh? I hope all went well. <laughs> eh? How are you? Eh, I'm fine. Eh? Welcome, my dear. But come on. I, I, I thought you said you will branch over at your brother's uh, workplace and both of you will come home together. Why are you alone now? Yes, Mama, we're coming. We met Josephine on the way. Her mother is having problems again. So he went there with her. Oh. Poor woman. When will this mal disturb? I just pray that it does not kill her. This woman has suffered too much. Eh? Honestly, Mama, sometimes I feel really pity for her and her daughter. I mean, the poor woman lost her husband in a car accident when Josephine was barely four months old. Mm. And now this uh, sickness will not allow the poor woman to manage her life. Mm. Oh. You know, Mama, sometimes when I look at her, I begin to appreciate the sofa and paint you went to bringing us up alone. Oh, thank you, darling. Thank you so much, Mama. Thank you, hey, darling. <laughs> Come on. What's this? Where did you get this from? Did you fall down? Mama, How, I, I what fall. is this thing about? I didn't fall. Is it not one stupid idiot at Lister's uh, uh, job place that, 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 that slapped him? Slapped Lister? Yes, I even called him a bastard. Huh? Well, you know me now. <laughs> you know your daughter. I gave it to him. I mean, this is where I punched him. I, I, I even slapped him. I, I pushed him. I was even ready to nod him. Hey! I hey! Hey! I know you. I know you will do more than that. Oh! Look at you. <laughs> I will you stop all this? Mama, did you cook anything? Yes, I did. Yeah, let's go. Let me go and prepare something for you to eat. I'm coming. Wait, let me quickly do this. Do this. I'm coming, oh. I'm coming. <laughs> Ah, ah, you're back. You're back. How are you, my son? Hmm? Your sister told me all that happened. How is she now? Is she okay? Is she getting better? She's well now. She has even stabilized. But uh, Joe is still shaking up. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Such a pity. Anyway, let me prepare something for both of you to eat. Thank you. Just go in and freshen up. Eh? Thank okay, Mama. Mm. Don't mind her, she likes trouble too much. <laughs> Home sweet so good to home. Have you home. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. 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 Ah, thanks. Try. That's fine, <laughs> Mom, where did you get the smorant from? And she's not even wearing at this thing. Just look at her legs. What is this? Oh my God. You are root, right? Yes, Auntie Candice. And where are Vicky and Glory? Oh, Vicky got married. Glory went back to the village to continue with her schooling. So I got this one here. What a shame. And you are now the head of maid? Yes, Auntie. And you, you don't... You don't have a name. Auntie, my name is not Evelyn. Oh, Jesus Christ, Mom! She's Evelyn. She's a nice girl. A very, very good girl. It's just that she's unschooled and crude. That's all. In this 21st century. Oh. Mom, please let us go inside. Welcome, Sister Candy. Festus! I hope you're married now. Ha. Marriage gift. Hmm. I never marry you. And responsibility too much. Mom! So what are you waiting for, Mr. Festus? Look at you, you're getting old. You need someone to take care of you. Candy. Don't tell me when I get married to my daddy's gate. Ah, Candy. No, no. <laughs> 
Leave Festus alone, please. He will get married when he's ready. Come, Mom, let's whatever. go um, Girls, can you get my stuff out of the come, car? Come, 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 come. And give us something to wear, like, yes. really. Okay, come. You're welcome, my darling. Oh, sweet home. You're oh, welcome. Sweet home. I'm so happy to be home. Yeah, you don't know what it means having you back home here with me. I know, mommy. I know. I really missed you, my darling. I missed you too. <laughs> look at you. So my baby has turned into a fine you little too, woman. You too, mommy. Mommy, you look so good. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can see my dad is really oh. happy. <laughs> welcome, my darling. Welcome. Evelyn. Yes, mom. Take the bus to her room. Okay. Ruth. Please lead the way. Okay, well. Mom, on which parts of the zoo did you get this ape of a girl from? Gosh. <laughs> Candy, you will not kill me here. What do you mean by ape? Mom, it's not obvious she's acting like an ape. She's not even reasoning like other humans. Please. <laughs> I can't deal with such people. I'm back, mommy. No. She's one hell of a girl I've ever come across. Don't worry, you're gonna like her. You will like her. Mm -hmm. Whatever, please. And when is my dad coming back? He should be on his way coming back now. Ah. Oh. You know what? Why don't you go up, take your shower, while I go into the kitchen and prepare you a good homemade oh. food. I'm sure you've missed my cooking. I missed it so much. Okay, okay <laughs> yes. then. Go to lunch. Thank you, mommy. Mm. I love you. <laughs> Thank you, Pastor. Yes, sir. Um, has my daughter arrived? Uh, yes, you don't come. Ah, thank uh, God. Uh, 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 sorry, sir. Oga, the girl with me, I'll be one follow you discuss so with the bother my mind. Go on, go on. Since you have already started, what is it? Do you want to get married? <laughs> Oga, no, sir. No, sir. Uh, now that my brother. But. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. The one you said is the reason you're still single? Yes, sir. Because yes, you sir. want to put him through school? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, what about him? Uh, Oga, he will run off for NYC service. Okay. Next week. So I don't know whether if he can't join me, can't he manage until he gets a better job. Is that all? Yes, sir. I don't think that will be a problem, Festus. Okay, sir. Uh, we've been together for a long time now. Yes, sir. And you're part of this family, okay? Yes, yes sir. So your brother can stay as long as he wishes to. Ah, okay. thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. It's okay. Thank you. Back, I appreciate it, sir. You Thank you, sir. Go back, go Thank you, sir. Where is she? Where is my angel? <laughs> oh, my God, Daddy. Oh, my God, Daddy. I'm so happy to see Come on, you. Look at you. Yeah, babe. So sweet and delectable. Thank you, Daddy. Oh, my God. I can't care. <laughs> How was the flight, my dear? Dad, I'm not happy. I was expecting to see you at the airport with mom, but mom came along. Hey, 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 I'm, I'm so sorry, okay? No, mm. forgive your daddy. You know, daddy's a beast man. I know. <laughs> Dad, I missed you so much. I missed you more, sweetheart. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you, Dad. You look so good and young. I want all the Woo! girls to follow. <laughs> Welcome, Daddy. Evelyn, hey, how are you? Stop that. Who is your dad? Ah, uh, my daddy too now. <laughs> your dreams. To show. Hey, 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 hey. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Um, Evelyn, please. <laughs> Go get my briefcase from the can't take it okay, tomorrow, daddy. okay? <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. Come, come, it's come. Fine. <laughs> hey, yes, my dear. Mm. You're welcome. How Thank you. Thank God you're back. Your baby here wanted to eat me raw that she wants to see her daddy. Candy, <laughs> you've seen your daddy. Yes, and I'm so hope so. I am safe now. Yes. <laughs> Look at them. It's so good to I'm have so you happy. back. Wow. Okay. 
Why don't we move over to the dining room? I think the food is ready. Let's go, let's go. After that, so that you guys can talk more. Oh my. This is wonderful. Yes. This is amazing. Yeah. My lovely daughter is now a bona fide product of the much preferred Harvard University. Yeah. The epitome of knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> I am so, so proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, this is wonderful. A first class double honors in economics and political science. <laughs> I am so proud of you, Candice. Mm, yeah. What more can a father wish for? What more? Candice has made me so, so, so proud. <laughs> but this is lovely. Come on, Dad. Thank you. You're welcome. No, 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 Candy. Your father is right. How many mm -hmm. young chaps like you sent abroad by their parents come back home as responsible as you? Mm -hmm. But my darling, take a good look at yourself. You came back home with an extraordinary fit. Tell her. Apples, they say, do not fall far from the tree. Right. You're just like me, you know. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Come on. Come on. Come on. Look, this calls for a celebration. Oh, yeah. I'll go get a bottle of champagne and mm -hmm. three glasses. Yeah. Okay? Thank you. Don't go away. I will be right back. <laughs> One second, please. Congratulations, <laughs> my darling. Thank you, Mom. You're so happy to be home. <laughs> 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 Put your rent and said, What is this? Listen, I'm a girl. You're a miss what? You're supposed to be your best. Mama, come on, why your daughter? You're very stubborn and greedy. What's the matter with both of you? You, you, you won't cease to amaze me. The two of you. What is all this? We are eating together inside. She carried the food and ran outside. You, both of you want to kill me just because of food. Am I she that, that wants to kill you? That, that wants to kill you? Why must oh. you bring the food outside? It's not she that took the food outside. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. give me my meat. Mm -hmm. My meat now. Why, why, why don't you give him his own piece of meat? You have the food with you. Mm -hmm. So I'll. Eat. I'm not you see this thing that this girl is in. Every time you want to. What? Lisa! What is it? Yes. What? Water, water, water! What is what? that? Fuck it! Get the water! Mama. Get the water! Mama, did you see that? What's the problem? It's not smart. It's not smart. I feel that's smarter than you. Hey, Jim. Rubbish. Bring water. Fuck me. Fuck me. You're not going anywhere. You must not listen to me. Sweet home. Oh, thank you. Thank you for my mom. Thank you for my father. Thank you for my family. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so happy to be home, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, God. I'm so happy. Uh, thank you. Uh. Auntie Kanji. What? Evelyn, Auntie, how dare you? You come into my room without knocking? Get out. Auntie. Get out, knock, and then you come back inside. And now, get out! Okay, Auntie. Okay. You rubbish. Oh, God. Come in. What is it? Auntie, Madame Tremakate is a breakfast stop you. What? Um, breakfast. What is breakfast? I don't understand. You mean breakfast? Eh, hey, Auntie, breakfast. Yeah, yeah, it's already. Evening. Ma? Pronounce it. Breakfast. Breakfast. Put it together. Break and fast. Break and fish. 
Oh, Jesus Christ, you're just a moron. <laughs> yes. Yes? Yeah. You're useless. <laughs> get out! Huh? Oh, God, oh, my God. Get, get out now! I'm coming! Oh, where did mom get this girl from? Oh, no, 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 no. Big first. sense to me and my mother without you coming into our lives I mean I, I don't know how our life would have been God would have still made a way heaven takes care of his own but I still need to thank God for bringing you into my life for, for what? I mean, you're, you're the best thing that I've ever happened to me I used, I used to be in tears but you came into my life and dried it up with your kindness Thank you for everything you've been doing for me and my poor mother. For oh, what now? Stop. Okay? I mean... <laughs> ah, darling, what have I really done? Sometimes eh, I wish I had more to give. <laughs> but even with the little that you have, you still give. Out of nothing. I mean, that's how to know a great heart. Thank you so much. Okay, stop. Now you're overshadowing me with praises. You deserve all the praises, my hero. Thank you so much. I love you so much. I love you too. No, no, no. Please. I'm sorry. Why did you stop? You don't love me enough. What are you saying? You know I do. I love you. I love you, but it's just that. But what? I'm not the one you want. You're everything I want and more. Now is not the right time. Just look at my mom. Look at all she's going through just to take care of my sister and I. I don't want that for you. That's why I'm taking my time. Okay, it's, it's okay. Now I understand. Now I know how you feel about me. I love you so much. And, and I'm going to wait. I'll wait for you. I love you, Lester. <laughs> oh, sorry. I forgot to tell you something. What's that? You remember that job that I told you a friend of mine told me about? Uh, is it the house girl one? Yes. I thought you had a... Lester, I, I know you don't like it, but I can't depend on you to take care of my sick mother. You also have responsibilities, like your school fees. Your mother is also sick, I mean, and your, your sister too. Please, let me just do this so I can help my mother. She has suffered a lot. Jo, are you sure you can do this? This house girl thing is not as easy as it looks, so. I don't have a choice. Maybe if I'd sat for Wayek and had my school certificate, I'd look for a better job. How much are they paying? Uh, she's offering 30,000. And she said if I impress her, she'll add extra 5,000, pay me 35,000. That's not bad though. That's actually not bad. And I know what that money can do for you and your mother now. So when are you resuming? Um, um, Friday. Friday, in two days' time. Two days? Yes. See, I'm just so desperate. I'm sorry. Are you, are you angry? No, I'm not. Just that I'm concerned. I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you. You know what? Let me get you home. I see things are already biting you. It's getting it. That means uh, the two of you will let's be seen of each other henceforth. Yeah, I mean, so it seems. You know this house girl work now. You have to be on ground 247 for your employer. Plus, I just don't want to be um, 
really, you know, she really needs the money to assist her mom. I understand, bro. I understand. I'm very much sure that after this, your education, your school, you are going to have a good job, you know. You will be able to take her from that particular area and then do something for her. My yes. brother, I can't wait. Yeah. This poverty is it starting to look like a crime. I mean, just just look at what we're going through. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> Please, I beg. Please. Huh? And today, you know. <laughs> is that not Francis? Francis, Francis. Oh boy, oh me. The girl don't harm man, bro. Francis! Francis! <laughs> yes, now it's me. Ah, Abby, you can't recognize me again. Ah, it's me now, Maris now, from school days now. Hi. <laughs> Francis, good to see you. How are you? Of course I recognize you. Wow, I'm talking now. The most brilliant boy in the whole. Oh. Of St. Fimba's College. <laughs> How can I forget you just like that? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I mean, six years is just too little to erase all the bitter memories of your jilting and mocking at my love for you. Just because you thought you were brilliant and intelligent. Why I'm a dullard. <laughs> but look at us today. You've not seen the four corners of the university while I am a product of the almighty Harvard. <laughs> That's the power of money, you know. I am rich and you are poor. <laughs> That's the class difference between us. Oh, I failed to mention that you are just a mere worker in one of my daddy's companies. <laughs> ah, ha, you. Um, you are his friend from Wardwood College? The one they call Lester, the bastard son of a nobody. I'm surprised you guys are still intertwined. <laughs> well, what can one expect from a low-life, poverty ridden and um, a bastard son of a blooper? <laughs> what a magnificent pair. You know, when I heard that you traveled abroad to study, I thought finally you would have acquired some knowledge and received sense. But it's apparent that you're still the same arrogant fool that you were when you left this country. How, how dare you? What kind of rubbish is this? Look at, look at you. Don't blame me. Baba Modi, go ahead, let's go. Let's go. You regret this. I swear you regret this, you bastard. Look at them. Good day, Ruth. Huh? You took so long. I'm sorry, ma. I I, I'm, I'm really sorry, ma. I, my mother is very sick, so I, I said, let me take care of her before leaving. And she was waiting for me. So how is she doing now? She's better now, ma. Um, she was stable before we left. It's OK. Just like I told you over the phone, hmm? if you do your job the way you're supposed to, there won't be problems. But if you don't, that's when there will be problems. Have I made myself clear? Yes, ma. Thank you, thank you very much. Ruth, take her turn. Mom? Who is she? She's a new girl. Her name is... Um, young girl, speak for yourself. Oh, I'm Jo. Josephine Okuli. <laughs> Mom, at least she can speak good English. That's nice. Um, Ruth, please, I'm really hungry, so you have to make me know those and be fast about it, okay? Take her to our room, please. Okay, okay. right away. Spicy? Okay. Oh, uh, Mom. Do you remember my friend I told you about, the one I came back with? Mm, the one I didn't get to meet. Uh, yeah, she called me and said to eat your sport her day. Like, it's so funny to me. Wow. <laughs> I hope they didn't harm her. Oh, well, she didn't say so, but she said she's going to come visit me, so let's wait for her. Until then. Okay. I think, you know, maybe a husband is one of those kind of people. Okay. I hope it's nice, because I'm really, really hungry.
What is it? Wow! What is it? Baby! What's the matter? Jesus Christ! Oh uh, my God, Mom! Joe! Mom, try this! Joe! Oh, 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 oh. <coughs> Jesus. My God! Uh, what have you done? Oh, what, 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 what were you thinking? Water, water, Joe, water. get water! Get me water, a glass of water! Uh, uh, what is this? Oh my God! Oh. What, what is it now? What do you want to kill Joe, me? Just test what? Test it! Yes. Oh, Go ahead. Put it this. Put it this. Eat this right now. Eat it. What's up? You are the one that cooked it now. Eat it. Oh, yeah. Are you okay? Yes, I'm, I'm fine. Now eat this food. Eat this food right now. Eat everything. Eat it. Eat. Candy. Oh, my God. Candy, it's okay. Just. It's okay. 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 It's I'll get back to you about it tomorrow. <laughs> I know, I know. I hope this one is not tomorrow. too peppery. No, just little pepper. I'll call you, all right? Okay, take care. Wait there, stand here. I hope this nice. Down. Hmm? I need to tear it again. Red. Hmm? It's good. Okay. Root! Henceforth, are you listening to me? Listen good. Henceforth, she will be the one in charge of my food in this house. Don't you ever touch anything that has with my food. Are you listening to me? You heard her. Thank you. Get out! Get out! 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 Get out! You can't cook common in them. Mm -hmm. I'm full. Hey, Faye. Oh my God. Hi, baby. Wow, it's so good to see you. Good to see oh, you. Oh, yeah. Too. I missed you. I missed you too. Come, come, come. So, come. where are your parents? Oh, yeah. Um, okay, um, Dad. Went to work and mom went out to get something and I'm home alone except with the miserable mates in this house. <laughs> I see. Yeah. Look beautiful. And you too. Come here. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, what can I offer you? You. Offer me yourself, Gandhi. I'm not home alone, okay? The mates are here. 
Okay. Okay, you know what? <laughs> so why don't I show you around the house? Then I can offer you something later. Sounds interesting. Let's go, baby. After you win. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Welcome, my brother. Welcome. Now you? Bros, that's you. Hey! We don't go to my youth service. That's it. We can come back house. Hey, we thank God. We thank God. So you don't finish your service with us? Just like that. Hey, Bato, Bato. Welcome, welcome, my brother. Welcome. Welcome. You see, bros, eh? I go just thank you. Hey, eh? God, we go thank. As I did thank you, I go to thank God because that's without God. you, I'm forbid to go to school. Hey, we go thank God, bros. God will bless you hey, for me. Now God, God will be thank. Now God, God, God welcome. Ah, so we don't get full flag graduates for our family. For the whole those are family. Hey, bato bato. I, I think, bros, eh, yeah. I assure you, eh, this one I don't finish my service. So. Yes. I go come get good job. I go when go I don't go get the good job, bros, I go his money spoil. I believe you, Bato. I, I believe you. Mo go is, I mo go is. I not say a lot. They will go tell ah, me. Geez, Enough this, this. Hey, all these people. The day, yeah. August seven, don't come out. Okay. okay. Welcome, bros, Bato, Bato. Bros, I greet you, bros. Hey, bros. Hey, welcome, my brother. Oh, that's good. That's very good. Thank you, sir. You're such a brilliant young man. Yeah. First class grade in chemical engineering. Now that's wonderful. I'm so proud of you. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Congrats, Bert. Thank you very much, madam. I, I want to also use this opportunity to say a big thank you to both of you. Uh, uh, because my brother has told me so many wonderful things about you people. Yes. How nice you've been to him. So God bless you more, sir. God bless you, my madam. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. It's really nothing. Uh, Festus says it's just like our son, so it's okay. Now I understand why Festus here was so hell bent on seeing his brother through school mm -hmm. before settling down. Yeah. And I tell you, that wasn't a wrong decision. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. You. God bless you, sir. It's all right. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. It's yes, all right. Um, the way things stand right now, I don't think the security post will be convenient for the both of you. Mm -hmm. Maybe you should move into the boys' quarters and then use the security post for official matters alone, okay? Oh my God, <gasps> sir. <laughs> thank you, sir. Come on. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, thank you, madam. Thank you, madam. It's all right. It's, okay. it's, it's the little we can do. Thank you. And um, thank you. Thank Bert, sir. I'll fix you up with something, okay? Uh, right now, as I speak, uh, there is no vacancy in any of my companies. Okay, okay, okay. But I, I shall create something for you. Oh, okay, okay. Such a talent shouldn't be allowed to go to waste. Yes. Hmm? I'm not I'm, 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 I don't know what to say, sir. I'm shut up. <laughs> it's not God, God, it. God bless you, sir. Madam, it's all right. God bless you. Thank you very much, sir. God bless us all. Thank you. Oh, God, thank you, sir. It's God bless all right. You, it's all right. Yeah. That, that is something. Yeah. First class. Just like my candy. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hi, Mom. Hey, hi, hi Sugar. How are you? Get a chance. Sit by your dad first. Come on. <laughs> what, what, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> so who was the man? Who was it? I know. That's um, Pestas' younger brother, Bert. He just rounded up his youth service. Oh. Can you believe that he made a first class grade in chemical engineering? Mm -hmm. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, that's good. At least now he can go look for a job and his brother can finally settle down. He's really getting so old there. Candy? Mom, it's true, you know. The guy looks so dry. He needs, he needs some fab. I'm sorry. Dad. <laughs> By the way, Candy, Ben told me he was here the other day and yes. that you were very rude to him. That's fool. Dad, can you imagine? I was so nice to him, you know. Oh, I see, Mom. So because he's the local government chairman's son, he thinks he can invade my privacy? Hell no. I just asked him to leave. Was that all? Mom, that's all. I don't know how that translates to being rude. Candy, have you ever thought of getting married and starting a family of your own? You're not getting any younger, you know. Yes. 
Dad, Mom, are you planning to marry me off to one dumb ass? Are you not ripe enough for marriage? What else are you waiting for? You've achieved everything you want in life. The only thing remaining is for you to cap it up with marriage. That's all. Come on, Dad. I'm a 21st century career woman, okay? I just need to fix myself. I need to get a job plan for myself before getting married to one useless dumb house who think he's doing me a favor, Dad. No, I need to get a job first. What job are you talking about? Just take any of my companies and manage it. Who else am I acquiring all the wealth for? Dad, you don't get it. I can't work in your company, you know. They will say I didn't get a job out of merit. I'm only working there because I'm your daughter. I don't want them to say that trash about me. Stop it! Stop it, Candice. Just stop it! What is the matter with you? Now listen. You will not work anywhere else than in the companies that I built with my own sweat, yes. that I built for you. You're my legacy, Candy. You're wrong that I have. If you don't stay close and take inventory of the companies that I have built, what will happen to them when I'm gone? I don't know. Dad, you don't understand what I'm trying to let you know. Auntie Candy, you have a visitor. Oh, why? You, you, you badged into our talk? Oh, Dad, no, don't worry. It's Faye. Faye, come, come, come. Oh, look at you. Oh, Dad, this is Faye, my friend. Faye, this is my, my dad. Hi. And my mom. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Don't worry, don't worry. Just let's go inside. <laughs> okay, Dad, I'll see you later. Come in, come in. Oh my god, you're even coming. Did you see that? My daughter now, not Your our daughter. daughter. I don't like that attitude. You spoiled her. So I was just trying to explain to her. <laughs> You know, and then uh, before I even knew what happened. What till later, I love that. This thing don't tire me, sir. Serious. Anyway, just be cool on it, like you said earlier. Yeah. Just yeah. be cool on it, do your own thing, you know. Just forget about it. That's what I can tell you. No matter have any problem. Oh, I know. So now we're waiting for him. Mm -hmm. So once he comes, just say that same thing you said to me. You be sure, sure. We'll just be sure. Of what we said to get. I understand. We'll all just be on the same page. Because sure. me, I don't like when, you know, people are looking at you are saying different things. Excuse me. <laughs> What are you guys doing leaning on my car? Hmm? My car! Hey, shoo! Sorry. Hey, shoo, 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 shoo! shoo. Uh, Lesa and Maris, you guys again? Do you know them? The poverty ridden miserable idiot I told you about. Oh, mm -hmm. I see. The bastard son of a nobody. Hey! Hey, calm down. I don't know why they keep appearing wherever I go to. Why both of you are friends? You know what they say now? Birds of the same feather flock together. It's because you girls are rich, that's why you just random insult hey, on people. Hey, shut up! Huh? Shut the fuck up! You know what? Tell your jobless fathers, your lazy fathers, your, your poor fathers to work hard in your next world. It's not my fault my father is rich. Rubbish. Get out before I hit you! Why? Why must we be born poor? Why? Oh, God. <coughs> I think I should just kill myself. Just take no, no, my no, life. No, 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 just take my life. No, 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 just stop. Stop, please, stop. Stop. This is, this is too much. Every time I try, I try to ignore it, but it's getting more and more obvious. It's getting obvious. Just look at how we're living like animals. Look at all the insults. Oh, this whole thing is just choking me. It's. <laughs> Mama, please, Mama, don't sound, don't sound like that. Mama, don't say that. Oh. 
It's all my fault. Don't, just hate me, hate me, don't hate yourself. I'm the cause of all this. I brought this upon your people. I brought it upon both of you. No, you're doing the best you can. Okay? I never hate you. If I'm to come back to this world again, I will choose to be born by you, Mama. Is, is that man that calls himself our father that I hate? He's the one I'm venting all this anger on. I, I just wish I could see him face to face so I can tell him, man to man. No, 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 no. Just, just calm down. Ah! Please, 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 please. It's alright, my dear. It's alright. It's okay. You're strong, please. It's alright, please. It's alright. No, no, no. Animal. <laughs> Bats! 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 I'm going to show, 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 show. Bats. Bats. Eh? I beg. I won't go to the toilet. But I told me you get us if they do me, I don't understand. Toilet, Make I quickly toilet go to... again. Okay. What do you eat when they pause like this? I don't know. I don't know what I eat too. I bet they help me look the gates. I bet they come. I I I I no problem. I... No problem. That's your clown of a brother. I beg your pardon. You heard me, West Pestus. He's gone to his himself. He'll be out soon. What's your name again? My name is Beth. Beth. Al or Gil? Albert. Albert. You know one thing? I hate it when people glare at me stupidly like a fool. I don't like it. Oh, it's fine. Um, said this morning, I want you to go across the street. Get me a sanitary pad, okay? I said you should go get me a sanitary pad. Now. Oh. Are you, are you? So you're feeling too big to, to run an errand for me, Albert. Now listen to me, little girl. Do you know what your problem is? You are so full of yourself and mannerless. I should go and get you sanitary pad. Me, Albert. Me? Get you sanitary pad. You call me? How dare you? Are you mad? Are you crazy? Did you just slap me? Who are you? Just slap me. I will slap you again. Just slap me. Who are you? Hey, come back here. Come back here, I'm talking to you. Go out there and get me the sanitary pad right now. What is going on here? Mom, can you imagine this, this miserable smelling thing? I asked him to go get me sanitary pad across the street and he's feeling so big. Mom? Is that true, babe? Do you have a problem writing errands for people here? Answer me when I'm talking to you. She slapped me. Can you shut up and I will slap you over and over again? If you talk shit, you are living in my father's house. You ungrateful thing. Now take this morning and go get me what I sent you right now. Uh, uh, Madam, let me go and buy it for you. Are you mad? Come on, you shut up! Get out! Look at this thing. Now I insist, you go get me what I want right now. Bert, take this money, go and get what she sent you. What's happening here? Um, it's nothing happening. Is there anything to matter? No, no, no. Okay. We're already late. Okay. okay. All right. All right, Dad. Bye, Dad. <laughs> okay, Mom. Mm. 
Afternoon. Hello, Number 24. Yes. Thank you. Mama, Mama, where is this place and who are we here to see? Look, my son, be patient. I always tell you, be patient, eh? You'll get to know soon, okay? Mama, uh, why don't we try the other game? Nobody's asking me. Maybe they asking me. Mm. Okay, that's true. Uh, okay. That's big. Mm. Easy. That. Uh. Sorry, sorry. Good afternoon. Uh -uh. Well, uh, who, who are you? Who are they fine? Come, you know they allow beggar to enter inside this place. Who? Huh? You know they allow beggar. If you don't want beggar, see, we are going to go for that. Uh, please. Uh, please, please, just watch your phone, okay? We are not beggars, alright? Please. Uh, okay, wait now, wait now, wait now. My son, please be patient. Just take it easy. Eh? Be, be patient. Eh? Eh, look, we, we are here to see Chief. Eh, Chief Dikoboko. Is he around? Okay, Chief. Uh. Sorry, Madam Noves. Chief, no day. He don't come out. He don't stay. He come out with Madam. They no day around. Oh, uh, 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 good afternoon, my well, son. Well, let's start. Linda. What are you guys doing here? You, you live here? Um, some, something like that. But you know them? Yes, yes I do. But it's been a long time we saw. Eh. So Linda, now that you are done with your work, what next? Honestly, I don't know. You know, my mom has really tried for myself and my twin brother to get bring us this far. I really don't want to push her father. Honestly, Linda, I understand. And I wish there's something I could do about your situation. But you know, we, we don't have as well. You know, if not for my brother that is insisting that I should get educated, that he's doing everything possible to make sure I get educated, I would have dropped out of school a long time ago. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Come on, you don't have to. Listen, you have to concentrate, face your study, face your dream and aspiration. Don't worry about me. How do you mean? You have to be focused. You have to go to school and, and be educated just like your brother wants you to be. Don't worry about me and my problems. Please, everything will be fine. You know something? It's, it's really sad that an intelligent girl like you will be left at home wasting. Really, really sad. Don't say that. I don't see it like that, but... You know, my mom always tells us that there's always a light at the end of every tunnel. Yeah, she's right. She's right. There's always a light at the end of every tunnel. Linda, I cherish our friendship so much. I will never ever forget you. I promise you that, okay? Thank you. I know, thank so, you. Since then, I've not seen them until now. So, what are you guys doing here? We, we, we don't know. Uh, 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 we, we are here to see Chief. We are here to see Chief? Uh, Chief. Madam. And he's telling us that Chief is not at home. I'm sorry. I hope he's not what I'm thinking. My son. Well, uh, what are you thinking? I, I think it's what you are thinking. You see? Chief is your father. What? what? I'll call you. <laughs> Bye. Um, so where is Joe? I haven't seen her today. 
since mom and dad left in the morning. Oh, did she go out with them? No, Auntie Candy. She got a call that her mother is sick, so she went to see and attend to her. What? Come here, come here. Without my permission, she left this house? No, Auntie. She, she told Madame. Mommy was away before she left. It's fine, it's fine. I thought she left without taking my permission. Mm. Anyways, what's, what's wrong with her mom? Her mom is asthmatic. And it's a troubling one. Her wound is very bad. Oh, what a pity. It's a shame. Mm -hmm. Evelyn, uh, who is it? Ah, uh, sorry. Oh. Uh, sorry, dear. Good day. Oh, please, uh, we are here to see uh, Chief uh, Dicky Boko. You are here to see my, my father? You. Oh. <laughs> oh, so you're here. You're here to fight me? Or you think I'm scared? Because you came with this hungry looking thing? <laughs> Well, no, that's not right. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> this is not why we are here. Funny thing, why? You know, I really wonder who allowed this hungry looking things in my father's house. Can you watch your language, uh, uh, please? Hello. Mama, tell her to. You are in my father's house. Uh, yes, young lady. Yes. Please, uh, we are not leaving here until we see Chief. Uh, he might be your father. Yes, but uh, we have a purpose for being here, eh? and we are seeing him before we leave. I'm sorry, my father is not at home. So please, get out. We are going to wait for him. What? Um, uh, Linda, sit down. Let's go. Let's Let's go. Go. Make what? yourself comfortable, sit down. Yes, yeah, sit, 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 sit. Sorry dear, we'll wait for him. Mm. Do you want to see my father? Look at these beggars. This chief Dicky boy is our father. Because uh, if that's so, that means this is our father's house. Uh, yeah? My son, Chief Dicky Boko is your father. And this is your father's house. Hey! Did you hear my mother? Going to be very cold out of the fridge. Yes, Auntie. Evelyn! Yeah? Um, please, get some cold water from the fridge. Oh, okay, I will. Okay. Clean! Okay. 
Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Give them, give them their cup. Please. Linda, give them their cup. What? This house. Is there that? How? No. They're just bluffing, okay? It's not possible. Look, poverty has infected their brains. They can't even think straight at all. Can't you look at them? They're just liars and beggars, so don't believe them, okay? God. These are desperate beggars. Please, excuse me. Mama, I don't understand. Mama, so if you know where he has been all this while, why are you waiting until now to find him? My son. Hmm. You can't understand. Hey, Mama, they make me understand. Eh? That's why I'm your son. Make me understand. Mama. You see, I want to die a peaceful death. And I don't want to leave you and your sister just like this. <laughs> Wait, Mama, wait. I, I don't understand what you're saying. I know this is not about my outburst two days ago because you've seen me like that before. Mama, so what is the problem? Why is he your health? Mama. Linda, no man is going to marry any woman without a qualification. Any woman that cannot contribute to the family. So what I want you to do is to enroll for this coming jam. That way, uh, with the small money I'm making from the factory, we can be able to put you through through university, little by little by God's grace. Okay? No. Lester, I I want you to go to school. <laughs> you're always putting me first at the detriment of your own future. Forgetting that you're a man and you need to stand on your own for the tax ahead. What tax ahead? Your future. What tax is more important than my twin sister? I want you to stand as a man. I want you to go to school. I want you to build yourself up. You can even do a part-time course and then, you know, do schooling and working at the same time. Don't worry about me. I'll get a job to support mother. But I want you to go to school. You, I want you to school. Please, don't say no. Please. Is that really what you want? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Please just do this for me, okay? Anything for my sweet sister. <laughs> Mama? Why are you going? Mama, what is wrong? Mama! Ah! Mama's blood, Mama. 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 Mama, what is that now? What is that, Mama? Mama. 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 Mama, are you okay? Mama. 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 Let's carry on. I should have heard the advice of Dr. Gome then. Yeah. But what? I just decided to keep it to myself so that. <sighs> Don't get you involved and keep you worried about me. And because I want you to keep on fighting. Oh. To stop. And because I know that it's going to break your heart and it will break mm -hmm. your sister's heart. It will stop you from fighting this fight. <laughs> that is why. Ma. Ma, so for two years, Ma, two years you've been suffering and dying in silence. Ma, why? Why? Mama, there is nothing we can do to change the situation, but at least we can share your pain, Mama. We are your children. Mm. Is that to what end? There's nothing you can change. Mama, at least. There's nothing you can change about the situation. You see, my son, about this world, 
I've been crying. I've been praying to God to have mercy on me. At least to give me more time for your sake. But it's like heaven just chose not to no, listen no, no, to no, my own. No, 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 Mama, don't say that. Mama, don't, don't sound like that, please. This is not the time to lose hope. You can win this. We can win this, Mama. Please. There's nothing to hope for. The situation is hopeless. Ah, of course. I went to see the doctor yesterday and he, he told me. He, he told me that. What? I, 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 I'm sorry, my lady. What you have is serious. It's cancer. You have abscess of the lungs. Cancer of the lungs. And it is really on the advanced stage. And I have less than three months to live. Ah! Baba! Over three months! God! Look, my son. Go back. Look, wait, Lester, listen to me. Yeah. You have to be strong. Over three months! Look, look Why at me. Why are you going to die three look, months? Just look at me. Look at me. You are a man. I want you to fight this fight like a man. Men ah. don't cry. Come on. Men don't cry. They only shed blood. Yes, Baba. The war ahead of you is very fierce and strong. And I want you to fight it and win the fight. Do you hear me? Yes. Yes, Baba. And I know you'll be victorious. God is going to be with you. And note, you've crossed the enemy line. Yes, no matter the rejection, no matter the suffering, you must keep on fighting until you win. I put your hope in God. Do you hear me? Yes, I do hear you. And Lisa, look, look at me. Promise me one thing, that you will never Mention this to your sister because if you do, <laughs> look at me, come on, promise yeah. me you will not tell her anything about this because if you don't hear, it will break her. You have to be strong, be a man. Do you hear me? You are my son. You are my son and you are strong, so be strong for me. Yes, yes Mama. I, 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 I will not tell Linda, at least not while you're here. I won't tell Linda. I'm sorry. You must stop crying. I'm, I'm so surprised at the turnout of events, you know. Because who would have thought that you are the child of Chief Dikibo, the popular oil magnate and philanthropist, and, and yet they left you, your brother, and your mother to suffer for a very long time? Honestly, it's very strange. You know, it's still like a dream to me. After so many years of, of suffering, of mockery, I can't believe Chief Dukobo is my father. Anyway, how have you been? Did you still went to the university? Of course I've been good and uh, I just graduated. With first class. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> wow, nice, nice. You can say that again. I've always knew you would make it. Thanks. Have you served? Of course, I just finished my service. And right now, I'm looking for a very, very good job. Don't worry. The job will come. It's one step at a time, okay? <laughs> Linda, you know. You are still that my angelic, lovely princess. <laughs> I must admit. Yo, please stop. You make me shy. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I'm not doing that. You know, there was never a time I stopped thinking about you, and I keep praying. You know, I pray every night, every day, for God to send your helper. Yeah, you're not a good prayer warrior. Because God never sent a helper. <laughs> Come Thank on, God he did that. not turn out a pastor. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. oh please don't say that, okay? I'm a good prayer warrior, you know. You know I pray very well. 
Such feeling towards me. I just want to know. <laughs> that they said all sorts of things, and the worst they claim that you are their father, and it's so crazy. That I am their father? Yes. Though I didn't hear them say that, but Ruth said she heard them, and she was so sure of what she heard. Dad, are those miscreants your kids? I can't, I can't believe it. No. Do you have other kids? No. You are the only child that I have, Candy, and no other. I don't know those people that you're talking about. I, I, I haven't even heard their names before. Daddy, who are they and what do they want from us? Like, they said they're going to come back. What, what do they want? Honestly, I don't know. This is baffling. Well, well, all right. Since you say that they said they'll be coming back, why don't you wait for them to do so? We'll sort it out then. Who knows? Perhaps they just mistook this place for some place they're looking for. Dad, really, you have to fix this. You really, you really have, I have to fix this because you, you, you can't imagine the thoughts. I, I can't stand them. I feel, they can't be my brothers and sisters. It's okay, sweetheart. <sighs> just calm down, okay? You have to trust your father on this. He will handle this. Of course, I, I will. I will, okay? Mm. Come on. Okay, Let's just wait for them, okay? Please, we are here to see you, Chief. What? Wait, 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 Mom! Dad! Oh my god! Dad! Oh my god! What's going on here? Dad. Who are you people and what exactly do you want from us? Dad, these are the stupid invaders I told you about. You heard my wife. So who are you? And why do you people keep invading my home? I just bless you God for this day. And uh, the people. It's a wonder that uh, we are seeing face to face oh after so many years. Well, to help you with the introduction, here are your two children. What? I brought them to you. <laughs> what children are you talking about? <laughs> Look, woman, who are you? What's the matter with you? What do you really want from me? What? Nothing. Except that I brought your children to you and... Uh, do you remember your friend, Dr. Gomez? No. Hey, he's still my friend. Why don't you get down to the point? <laughs> hmm. The cable, the cable. Now, do you remember the night? of your bachelor's eve. What happened? That extraordinary moment. I just hate myself. I don't know how and why I ended up with you in a hotel room to the extent of making love with you. I'm so ashamed of myself. Oh, come on. Don't say that. You know I like you so much. But you'll be getting married tomorrow. I know. But it does not change the feeling I have for you. You shouldn't have done this. You shouldn't have. Dicky Bo, I'm so scared. You didn't even use protection on me. I know. Regina, I know you are a decent girl. I love you. I wish I met you earlier. This marriage would have been you and me. 
I'm in my ovulation. What if I get pregnant? What if... I... Shh, relax. Nothing will happen to you. You won't get pregnant for the first time, okay? Um, I think I have some money. Let me give you some money so you take care of yourself. What is that? Are you not paying me for the sex we both had? Oh. Am I not a prostitute to you or what? No. Regina. Regina. I respect you so much. I cannot debase you just because I had sex with you. I sincerely love you. I wish I met you earlier. I wish I met you earlier. I'm coming, let me get the money. Hold on. What is going on here? Regina Jacobs? Mm. You know her? <laughs> Regina Jacobs? What are you doing here? I brought your children for you. <laughs> Come on, this must be a joke. <laughs> Excuse me. Dad! Uh, one, one second. Dad! What's that doing? You can't believe that actually recognize that wretched, dirty woman! Hey! How dare you my mind? What will you do? Bitch! Linda, Linda, Linda. You Linda. guys are just beggars! Hey, watch your son. What is the meaning of all this, Regina? Do you want to wreck my marriage? Besides, what children are you talking about? You remember that pregnancy? I was pregnant for you, remember? What? what? You sounded so urgent on the phone. Are you even look worried? What is the problem? I respect the fact that you're married now. That's why I didn't come to the office. I don't want to cause a scandal. Regina. You are getting me on east. Start talking. You know I can't be seen around nowhere with a beautiful girl like you. I'm just a month married. Start talking. I lost my circle. I'm pregnant. What? Oh my god. I knew it to come to this. I knew it. I told you, but you wouldn't listen. Hey, my mother will kill me. I mean, how did this happen? We just did it just once. Dikibo, this is not the time to ask questions. What do we do? Please, I'm confused. Let me just think, okay? Fine. I just have to go to my poor mother. Why you stay here and, and think? Uh, we just have to abort it. What? You can't keep this pregnancy. I'm, I'm married for crying out loud. Do you want to ruin me? Please, Regina, let's abort it, please. I beg you. I don't want to commit abortion. I'm, I'm so scared of it. I had a lot of girls die in the process. I don't want to die. Regina, you can't carry this pregnancy. I'm a married man. Don't worry. I have a very good doctor that is good in it. He's a professional. Don't worry, I'll give you money so you take care of yourself. Okay? Please. Are you sure I'll be fine? You will. You will. I'm so sorry. You will. Uh, just uh, let's go. Let's go so that we'll, we'll do it fast, okay? Just... You aborted that pregnancy, Regina. You aborted that pregnancy. I gave you some money and took it to my personal doctor for the abortion. And how dare you come here to ruin my marriage with your stupid set of bastards? They're not my children! Look at what they are your children. I, I know you did that, but I couldn't go ahead with the, 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 the abortion. I didn't. You're I... lying. 
Dr. Gomez is my friend and my personal doctor. And we've known each other since our school days. And one thing he doesn't do is lie even at gunpoint. He assured me that that abortion was successful before I left the hospital that day. They're not my children. See, I keep saying it, they're your children, the people. You know, I, I, I bent him, I pleaded with him to let me keep the pregnancy. And not to let you know that I, I kept it. I wanted you to believe that I aborted the pregnancy. I don't want to do this abortion. I don't want to kill my own child. Please help me. Do you realize what you're asking me to do? I and Dikipo have been friends for a very long time, and I don't want to betray his trust. Yet it's better not to commit murder. Please, doctor, help me. Please. I just want to save my unborn child. But you are where he's married, ain't you? Yes, I know that he's married. I also know you're his friend, trying to protect your friend's marriage. Doctor, please, if you help me, I promise I will not meddle with his marriage. I won't even let him know that I still exist. Please, doctor. God. Now, are you assuring me that if I oblige to your request, you will not for any reason come asking the people to father your child? Never. I promise you. I cross my heart. I will never, I won't even allow him to know that I still exist. I will take my child far away from him and his family. Please, doctor, just help me. I will take responsibilities of my child alone. All right. Wait a minute. Do you understand me? Let me inform him that the abortion was successful. Do you understand me? Okay. So I'll get back to you. Okay. Are you all right? So Thank you, doctor. Later. All right. I'll be back, okay? But remember one thing. Keep to your word. I will. You will. All right, I'll back. That stupid doctor. He chose to betray me over the tears of a woman. See, I'm really sorry. I'm truly sorry. I thought I could do it all alone. I, I, without you knowing about it, I didn't even want you to know anything about it. And just to go my own way and for you never to even see me again. Or, or, or the children. I, I never wanted a situation where I would come and destroy or destabilize your, your family. No, I never wanted that. But the point is, I was diagnosed with cancer of the lungs. And I just have three months to live. I, I, I can't just leave our children to roam the streets like uh, sheep without shepherd. That is why I brought them here. Please, I beg you. Take care of them for me, please. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, okay, 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 fine, fine. Okay, let's say you didn't abort the pregnancy. You, you didn't abort the pregnancy? How come there are two? It's either you're lying to me or you want me to father the children you got from your hold on. Look, Dickie boy, you can't insult me for all like eh, You can't say whatever you want. But just take care of these children. They are your children. Heaven knows that. Since you disvirgined me, I've never had anything to do with any man in my life. They are twins, a boy and a girl. You can't even call Dr. Gomez, he's your friend, and ask him, I delivered these babies in the, his that, hospital. That, that traitor? You want me to call that traitor? No, no I, I can't accept it. But They're not you, my children, they and are. they must leave my house now. I, I can't. Can't, I just you, can't. Can't you understand my plight? Now, get out of my house, you imposters. Get out of my house! We are no imposters and you know it. We are your children. Why is it so hard for you to accept it? Why? Such a wicked and heartless man you are. For 26 years, you left us to suffer and die after wishing us death through abortion. Look at you, still repent out of your sin. Oh, you shut up. You heard him right. He said you're not his children. So just get your miserable selves out of my father's house now! Shut up! Come and take me out. Let me just cut your face with blue. Come and take me out. Get out of my house. We're not going anywhere until you accept us. Who says you're my children? Oh, God. How are you people even sure you are? Oh, you just believe what your useless mother fed you without a proof? Sir, please, I suggest you don't insult my mother. Oh, don't! The only reason she kept us away from you was because she did not want to wreck your home. She is a better person. 
She didn't get herself pregnant. You did! Get out of my house! We're not leaving. Uh-uh. Hey! You're not leaving. Yes! You're not leaving. Yes. Okay. Bert! Festus! Olga! Olga? Good. I want these imposters out of this house this minute. Get out of my house. Take them out! What are you waiting for? Get them out of the house! Ow! Get it! Dad! With due respect, sir. This is a family matter. We can't, we can't get involved. Well, we're sorry, sir. You, you know what, Dad? I think these people are actually very stubborn. We need to involve the police. You're right. Get my phone. Good. Go and get my phone. Oh. Oh. You have a dagger. Okay. Don't, don't, don't. Come and stab me. No, no, no. Come and stab me. Go ahead, make that call to the police. Call them! I am going to stab myself right before your very eyes. And the blood of your only male child will be on your hands! Yes, make the call. We are in debt. You have enough blood on your head. Father! There's a limit to what anyone can take. And right now, I have reached that limit. So go ahead, Dad. Make that call. Call the police. Call the police. Mom, stay out of this. No, 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 please. That's what I said to say, then. Go ahead. Go ahead, bastards. End your misery. Go on. End your miserable lives and serve yourself with shame. Why? Bastard. Why? <laughs> Can you give us something to talk to you? It's going to make a very good headline, you know? The bastard twins commit suicide out mm -hmm. of rejection. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, the bastard twin took their life after being rejected by a renowned oil magnet. Mm -hmm. You know, that would be a very good news. So take your life. I don't want to miss you because you're just a bastard. Bunch of rubbish. So kill yourself. Do you hear that, Dad? You hear that? Stop it. No, no, no. no. Stop it. Give it to me. I hope it makes him happy. Oga. Sorry. This is a serious matter and a family matter. I force me everybody calm down so that the thing no go affect person for future. Yes, yes. Oga, I beg. Will you shut up, Festus? Shut your dirty trap. Who asked you to meddle in this affair? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Let's. Let, let, let's let's all just let, let's all calm down, okay? Let's let's all calm down. And you, put that dagger down. No, I'm not. Put it down now. Listen, it's your father's. Put your it down now. Down. No, mama. Get no, I said get it down for so long. No, I, I said, said put it, it down this minute. Give it to me. Give it to me. Put it down now. Give it to me. Put it down. Oh. Okay. Um. I. I, 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 can't, I can't think very well right now. I Look, Festus, take them to the boys' quarter. I'll, I'll deal with this eh? matter later. What? Let me do some thinking. Let, Dad! Let me do Dad! Come, come back here! Come back here! Come back here! No, no, no! Take them out of this house! Out of this house! Come back here! 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 Come back See what the unfaithfulness and recklessness has gotten us to. See where your quest for sexual gratification and foolish escapades leads us to. Let's let your you break. Betrayals, heartbreak is all I get after all the love I have for you, Dick. All I get is gross unfaithfulness. No, honey, you should know me. You should know me. I've been faithful to you since I'm married. I, I have never cheated on you. I can't believe this, God. Dick, swear. Swear you didn't do anything without woman. Swear. Dad, I can't believe it. after all the drama, the insult, and every all the rubbish she said allowed those useless people to live with us. And you said they're not your children. Then who are they? Why are they in our house? Why are they here? I know my husband. I can tell when he's trying to hide something. I want you to be honest with me. Tell me the truth. So that I can know how to handle this. Please tell me the truth, please. Please. Um, <laughs> it's... 
it's very complicated. But it's not what you think. The truth is, I had an affair with that woman 27 years ago. A one night stand. That was before our marriage. The bachelor's eve to be precise. Honey, do you know how it is with men? Basking in the euphoria of our soon get married and, and wanting to play the last game before hanging up the boot. Do you know how it is? So we hooked up and... Oh God. <laughs> a few days after our wedding, she called me to tell me that she was pregnant. I told her to terminate the pregnancy. I gave her money, good money, and personally took her to my doctor, uh, our doctor, Dr. Gomez, for the abortion. Because I think I didn't want this kind of thing to happen. I didn't want this to happen. But that traitor, Dr. Gomez, he assured me that that abortion was successful. Only for her to show up 27 years after. Dad, wait a minute. So there's every possibility that those, those miscreants are actually your, your kids. You are their father? <laughs> That's what I intend to find out. Oh, oh Jesus, so good. Why is this happening? Why? For, for, for now, I'm, I don't know what to believe. I'm, I'm so confused. Until there's, <laughs> there's basically nothing I can do. But Daddy, they're your children. They're your children. I can't deal with this. Candy, 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 look, I am sorry for everything that has happened. I, 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 I am, you I am sorry. I didn't intend, How can you do this to me? I didn't intend for After this to happen. We've been through I am, I am sorry. Why? How can you do this? I am sorry, sweetheart. We can sort this out. Okay? How can you do this to me? Just, just stick with me. It's, it's alright. It's okay. It's alright. Okay. Right. 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 I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> That was a very good fight you guys put out there earlier. I must confess I admire your courage. It's not over yet. This is just the beginning. I'm sure they are going to regroup and come back. There's no way he's going to give up easily. And so are we. Exactly. We fight for our rights. We take what belongs to us. There will be no peace in this house. So, um, what next? Well, we wait for their next move, which I'm sure is going to be very, very, very soon. Hmm. Lester, Linda, sorry, I've not been able to come see you guys. Um, you guys know each other? Oh, oh yes. Um, she's my brother's girlfriend. Oh, interesting. Um, how are you guys holding up? Where's Mama? We're well, fine. She's sleeping already. I didn't know you walked here. We didn't see you the other day we came. That's true. I was told some people came here claiming to be chief, the Kibo's children. I never thought it was you guys. <laughs> My mother had another crisis, so I went home to take care of her. That's why you didn't see me. How is she? Well, I guess she's fine now. If not, they would have called me. See, Lester. You guys have to keep fighting. Don't give up. This is the best thing that will ever happen to you. I agree with you on that. Um, uh, let me start going back now before they start looking for me. Okay. I'll, I'll find time to come see you. I um, know how you're doing. Right. Linda. Okay. Well, like you rightly said, you know, you guys just keep fighting, man. Keep fighting. Sneaking Joe, you know. I saw you. I know you went to see them. I'm sorry, Roots. Joe, you are risking being sacked. I saw the way you're smiling sheepishly while talking to him. What relationship do you have with him? He's my boyfriend. We've been together for a while now. In fact, I never knew he had connection with this family until earlier today. Why? So don't start getting any funny ideas in your head. He's your boyfriend. Ayera, Ayera. Ayera. Not even Swalwa. Even though I'm not yet the baby in English, you know, I hear she's not her boyfriend. Why 
talk or keep my voice down. To get boyfriend about him. You won't put up for trouble. I even like as it seems they happen, so are they happy? Why? That stupid girl. Today, everything this, everything that, everything stupid, everything that may happen like that. I like her. Wait. Joe, please. I want you to be careful. Because I don't want you to be caught in the middle of this whole thing. Okay? I don't want you to be sad. Careful. And you. I'm okay, my brother. Mm -hmm. I leave her like that. Bert! Bert! Oh. Bert, sir. I want you to bring those imposters in here right now. Okay, sir. Uh, come on. Really no, 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 no. Don't mention, okay? Don't mention. I even want my brother not to intervene in this family matter. I understand everything, okay? Thank you. No problem. No problem. See, listen, if I had the opportunity, I would do it over and over again. I'm here for you people. Okay? Thank you. Don't worry. Um, Chief! Chief! Bert, I told you to bring all the imposters here. I didn't tell you to leave anyone out. Um, uh, Chief, Lester stepped out to get something. That's why he's not here, sir. You think this is over? This is far from over, Regina. If you think you can force me to accept these children, whose paternity I have not ascertained, you must be living in a fool's paradise. I will not take this without a fight. <laughs> a fight? Huh? And uh, Dikebo, how do you want the fight? Clean or dirty. Anyway, I'm ready to go to any length to prove to you that these are your children. You are their father. Good. Then we'll go for a DNA test. Oh, DNA test. Good. That would be splendid. I'm ready. Fine. You're pushing your luck too far, Regina. By thinking and believing that Dr. Gomez will be there to manipulate the result for you. Mm -mm. We will be using another hospital that I will choose. Dikibo, I'm ready to go to any hospital of your choice for the test. Yes? It's all right. Get yourselves ready then. And get ready also to go back to that hellhole that you came from with your bastards. Because this test is going to exonerate me and truly prove that they are from the pit of hell to bring shame upon my holy name. With all due respect, sir, if the test matches, you will not only give us a rightful position in this but you also apologize to us for calling us bastards. Father! God, let's get out and get us out, ready. Yes. Take them out of my Can you see your blood? Um, 
Esther, Linda, I'm sorry I can't go to the hospital with you guys. And I want you to understand. You know, I'm still staying with Chief. I don't want to fall out of favor with him. I'm sorry, please. No, it's okay. We totally understand. We know that your heart is with us. All we need right now are prayers. Of course. Of course. It's right. as well. Ah. Chief, no Karo go. Uh, no, I asked the same question. I still wondering why Chief left without them. I don't know. Bro, don't worry. See, what's more important is that we get to the hospital and do the test. That's all. Okay. I pray, I pray yeah, everything go well. Eh? Okay. Yes, it's okay. Uh -huh. go well. Uh -huh. hey. Sorry, I couldn't come out. I was avoiding their eyes. It's okay. I just want to wish you good luck. Thank you. Okay. I'll let you. You're drunk. What is this, really? Faye, there's so much going on in my mind. I just need to forget it. And you, you think you can forget it by soaking yourself in alcohol? I just need to forget my misery. I need this. This is the only thing I can take that can help me. Calm down. Let me have it. No. No alcohol. <sighs> okay. So, what happened? <sighs> Faye. Do you remember the two guys we met leaning on my car? The one you told me you, you knew him and he, he was a bastard. The, the bastard episode? Yeah. Lester. Faye, Faye, I'm about to wake up from the worst nightmare of my life. Faye, that bastard could turn out to be my half-brother. Ah. Lester, your half-brother. How? Faye, it's not just him. They're twins, a boy and a girl. Tell me how I can live in this house with, with those two grown adults that are older than me. Tell me how. How can I live with them in this house? Wait, I, I, I don't get it. How, how is that possible? You, did your father get married to another woman before your mom? You don't understand. Okay, let me explain to you. My father had a one night stand with your mother before he got married to my mom. And he said he took her for an abortion and blah, 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 blah. Here they are. Oh my God. <laughs> and um, your dad, what, what is he saying? Is he accepting blah, blah, blah? I'm confused. I'm really confused. You wouldn't even believe. They went for a paternity test, a DNA test, to confirm if their claim is true, if what they're saying is true. But what if it's true? What if those useless, dirty-looking, hungry things are actually my half-brother and sister? Tell me. What if it's true? I just want a drink. And I just... No, 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 oh, I don't, I don't no, 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 Oh, I live with them in this house. Chief. Um, oh, oh, sorry, let me call you back. My attorney is here. Good afternoon, Chief. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Uh, good afternoon, attorney. That was fast. Yes, I left as soon as you called me. Um, thank you very much. Thank you, Chief. Um, I'm here to get the result. Okay, but I need your advice on this. I don't want any scandals. I don't like scandals. I hate scandals. That Virginia woman wants to blackmail me for nothing. It's okay, Chief. We are here already. Since you are very sure that you're not the father of those children, when we get the result, then I take it off from there. Good. Yeah. 
got. That's good. Oh, here he comes. Oh, oh yes, doctor. It's positive. No, I'm, I'm very sorry. What are you talking about? The DNA paternity test will return to us proved 99.9 .9 match. In other words, G, it proves beyond doubt they are your children. <laughs> Don't talk to me. Chief, that's the true fact of things here. You will still get the same result anywhere you go for the test. I'm sorry. There it is. Thank you. I'm sorry. I have been betrayed by a dear friend. For 27 good years, Dr. Gomez kept this from me. A man I trusted so much, I will never, ever forgive him. Chief, I advise you calm down and look at the other side of it. Remember your health problems. You shouldn't be exerting much emotional and mental stress on yourself now. It won't do you any good. Please calm down. Okay, okay, Tony. I'm, 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 I'm calm. I'm calm. That's good. Now, what do you think I should do about them? Because right now I am very confused. Please, I need you to advise me on this. Mm, Chief, there is nothing much to advise here. They are your blood. You can't reject them. You can't forget them. I think you should just restore their status and include them in your will. Besides, there's a mail here, here. Something you should be very grateful to God for. What about my wife? And daughter, Tony, what about them? Have you thought about how they will feel about this? Have you? No, I, ca I can't do this. I can't. But Chief... No buts, no buts, Tony, no buts. I can't do this. I won't. No. You have um, effected the necessary amendments to my last will. I just like I instructed you to. That's right, Chief. Thank you, Barista. Thank you very much. Um, I'd like to see Regina. Okay, I should get that in, right? Please. Okay. Um, in a moment, Chief. Let's 
Come in. Chief, she's here. Let's sit down. Now. I am sorry, Regina. I am sorry that I was very unfair to you. I'm sorry for what you've passed through, for everything that you've passed through. I'm sorry I put you through all these sufferings. I really am sorry. I really am sorry. Huh? It's all right, uh, Nikibo. I know everything is not totally your fault. I, I had mine too. Hey, it's all right. It's all right. Um, I have spoken to my attorney about you and the, the children. My children, Lester and Linda. And he will guarantee them their rightful positions. My only regret is that I I didn't meet them early enough. But please I I want your people to do something for me. Okay. Please I I want you and my children, okay, to, to forgive me, okay, please, find a place in your heart, find a place in your heart, forgive me, okay, please, please, please. And I also want to thank you. Thank you for doing a fine job in raising my children to be responsible. Thank you. I wish I could say the same thing for my other daughter, Candy. Her soul is destined for eternal damnation. I want you people to help her, S save her, to not bear any grudges with her. No acrimony, okay? I want you all to help her. You and my children, especially Lester. She's his sister. She needs help. She needs help. Don't say anything again. Just everything is okay now. I need to get Don't it out. Don't talk. I am gonna get it out. That, that was the reason. I collapsed because I couldn't. Hey. I couldn't bear such a sight under my roof. Don't, don't, don't do this to yourself now, please. I, 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 need, I need to get it out. My daughter's heart. Please now. I want to be able to help her. Okay, help her. Save her. Save her. Yes. Save her. Yes. Yes. Don't do, don't do I, this to me. I, 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 you have to stay alive to take care of these children. Please. You know I don't have much time. It's all. One more thing. Faye. That's the, that's the name of her friend. That she was doing stuff with, okay? I don't want Faye anywhere near my daughter Candy. I promise me that. 
Take him out, it's okay. Take him out. Take him Don't do this to yourself. What is this? Take him out. No, no, take him out. Get it easy. Just. Call his doctor. Doctor, call his doctor. Take him out. Anthony, what are they still doing there? They've succeeded in killing my husband. Let them leave. No, madam. You are wrong. This is your husband's wish. I urge you to respect it in the interest of peace. Peace? Did I hear you say peace? There won't be any peace between light and darkness. Light will always remain light and darkness will always remain darkness. Because they were begetting an evil. And in evil they will remain. Just make them leave. Madam, I'm surprised you are doing this. Now tell me, if you don't respect your late husband's wish, how will you be able to honor his memories? I advise you to take a cursory reappraisal of your stance, please. Mr. Tony, you're not deaf, okay? You're not deaf, you heard my mom. There can't be peace in this house with those useless, dirty looking things that are in my father's house. Just get them out of here and leave my mom and I in peace. Yes, you heard her. Let them leave, they don't have any place here. They are murderers. They don't have any share with my husband. Never, ever. Let them leave. Madam, you talk as if you were in privy of the hair status of your late husband. Yes, I know. They executed it and cost it. They killed my husband and I will never, ever forgive them. I will make them pay. I will make them suffer. I'm going to have my pound of flesh. Be careful what you say, madam. As it's you and your daughter that will suffer. Especially for the consequences of this open threat. I have your husband's will. You should be patient to hear it first. Before you go ahead and make your threats. Excuse me, Atoni. Wait a minute. Do I sense a bit of threat in your statement right now? Are you threatening us? Madam, I'm very disappointed at you. You may not know what you're doing now. But as the saying goes, he who makes peace difficult only makes war inevitable. I advise you shouldn't destroy everything your husband did just because of your warranted hatred for these children. <laughs> I don't even understand what is going on here. Attorney, on which side are you on? You're supposed to be supporting me, not them. I am not supporting anybody. I am only doing my job. And in the instant, what the disease wanted. I am bound to respect his wish, as otherwise we'd be unethical. Good day, madam. Until you are ready to reason. I can't believe this. Mom! Why? Why is he not on our side? What is wrong with him? It's just as you're saying it. It's just so obvious they've bought him over. How, Mom? What can they offer him? They are poor, they are beggars, they, are, they don't have anything. What? Nothing is impossible. It's possible they've struck a deal. Now listen to me, listen. And listen well. It is high time we put on our thinking caps. First, you're going to assume the position of the MD, CEO of your father's company. That should be our starting point. The battle has just begun. Yeah, Candy, you're here. Yes, sir. That's I'm beautiful. <sighs> yes, whatever it is, please, I would like you to be snappy because I'm a busy man. Yes, attorney, I know you're a very busy man, okay? Actually, I'm here because I need your help. You've been my late father's lawyer for years. I just need you to send those bastards to hell where they belong. Look, I don't know, I just need what is rightfully mine. I need you that, I just need you to do it for me. For the sake of my late dad. It's a pity, Miss Dickibo, that you, you understand it that way. To start with, those children are not bastards the way you put it. I was with your father at the DNA profiling center and I saw the first hand result of him. They shared the same DNA with you. 
they are your father's children. You know what? I advise we all be calm and follow the wheel when we open it. Look, attorney, look. Maybe you don't understand what I mean, okay? Attorney, maybe you don't understand what I'm trying to say to you. You see, I can actually do anything for this. I just want what is rightfully mine, you know? I believe you know what I'm trying to talk about. I'm very disappointed at you, Miss Dickie. Tell me, is this how you want to respect your late father's memory? You prefer his words to honoring his memory and wishes. His wish is that you all live together in peace as a family. Anthony, they are not my family. They are not. They are not. They're just beggars and liars. It's a pity, Miss Dickie. I can't help you. Your father was a very good friend of mine who helped me in many ways before he became my client. I can't afford to betray the trust he placed on me to watch over his family. Oh, good day. Listen to me. As I told you, look at me. I can do anything. That's that rubbish thing. But then again, mommy refused me. He walked away without even looking at me. Mom! He walked away. I know he won't sway easily. Oh, God. But can you listen? We will keep pushing till we push through. Let me tell you something. There's nothing too difficult for us to achieve only if we set our minds to it. We can't allow those aliens to eat the fruits of our labor. Never. Impossible, never. It won't happen. Mom, really, that lawyer is actually very stubborn. He's very stubborn. Mm -hmm. Just come down. God. No, 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 no. Mr. Festus. Mr. Festus. Mr. Festus. Oh. oh. I was just looking for you. Come here. Please, on no account should you let that silly girl into this compound. Okay. She's a bad influence to my sister, Candy. Okay? okay. Those were my father's orders. Okay. Please. If you say now, Oga, give me instruction. Who I be? I go do as you talk. Thank you. Hey, hey, let's Are you mad? Are you alright? Hey, who the hell are you to make such decisions in my house? My father's house! How dare you? She is my guest. Faye is my friend. But you know that she's no good for you. She's a bad influence to you. So I'm just stating the obvious. Jesus Christ, that, that's what I tell you. What? Tell me. Yes. Candy. I will slap you again. You slap me. Oh, shut up. You slap me, Candy. Who the hell are you to slap my brother? Yes. You don't slap my brother. Oh, you don't oh my God. I do not mind. Oh, my God. You don't mind. Oh, my God. You don't mind. Me boss, boss, this girl's face. You don't have to have told you about violence. You don't have to hit people. Like, I know somebody slapping you. I won't take that. <laughs> <laughs> if you see the plans I had for her, eh? <laughs> I was ready to move her jaw to this corner. <laughs> she should be lucky Lester saved her. If not, I was ready to bust box her nose. I just. <laughs> she thinks it's about running up and down with, with short gowns. <laughs> My dear, there is no need to fight. You think Lester is stupid to allow her to get away with that slap on him? Or you think Lester can beat her? There is no need. You don't have to fight. Eh? I have to fight too. Me, I must fight. 
I have to fight, as a matter of fact. If that is what they want, if they don't want peace, I will fight. Yes. Hey. Linda. Huh? Come to think of it. What's the connection with Lester and the friend girl? Why won't he want her to come in? You know your brother doesn't act like that without any good reason. Maybe it's um, what that girl does with Candy. Which is? I, I ran into them a couple of times. I found them kissing and fondling <laughs> with their bodies. Wait, wait. You mean that girl is a lesbo? Like, she's a lele? Bring your voice down, please. Hey! Yeah. How dare you lay hands on my daughter? How dare you? You rascal. How dare you lay hands on my daughter? How dare you bastard? Call me bastard. Don't call me names. Don't call me names. Eh? Tell your daughter I want her to stay away from me. Else me, I will box her eye. I will beat her. I will, will shift her jaw. What? Is that a threat? Okay. I will call you a bastard over and over and over. You're a bastard. And a bastard you remain. Bastards! Do your worst! I won't do anything. I don't want to kill somebody. Is that on your enterprise? Come on! You've killed my husband. Why don't you just complete the mission you came here for? Let me warn you. Let this be the first and last time you lay your filthy gutter hands on my precious daughter. If you try it again, I will put you in a place where you will never see the light of day. Bastards! No problem. Just tell your daughter. Tell that stupid daughter of yours. Tell her to stay out of my way. Tell her to leave me and my brother alone, else! Ah, me, I will wash her, I will shift her mouth, I will blow, blow her nose, I will press her, I will kill her! Tell her to harass of me, oh! Tell her to go to the street and ask of me, I keep people and press their neck! I will be bitter! Alright, there's no point messing words with you. Try it again. Are you fool? What are you doing? Go and get inside and do your job, idiot! Bastards! Nonsense, rubbish! Try it again and see what will happen to you. Linda! 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 Guess what? Guess what? 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 Guess what? Today is the happiest day of my life. I just got a job offer from <gasps> Shelloy Company. Ah! I'm so happy for you! <laughs> what? So oh my god, I'm so, so happy. This is a good news. You can say that again. I'm really happy for you. My god. My god. I, I don't know what to say. It's it's it's, it's just God. I'm, have, 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 I'm I'm just I'm just too happy. Have you told? Have you, did you call your brother? Have you told no, him? No, no, no. I've not told anyone. I wanted to share the good news with you before another person. That's why. <sighs> Thank you so much, Odi. No, come on, let's go tell your brother. Wait, 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 wait. We we'll, we'll sit tell my brother, but before then, they, there's something else I would want to discuss with you. Okay. What is it? You see, Linda, I, I still love you. I still love you very much, and I'm, I'm thinking of spending the rest of my life with you. Please. Come on, Beth, don't be ridiculous. You just got a job. You need to establish yourself as a man first. You need to set yourself up. Before thinking about marriage, you need, you better need to get married before you. Don't worry. Meaning? I am not running away. Meaning? Meaning, I'll wait for you. Happy now? You, you, you marry me, Linda. <laughs> For real? <laughs> I love you. I love you so much. I love you. I love you. I love you, I love you my dear. I love you. I can't stop loving you. It's you're okay, my life. I'm you're my home. Okay? I, I love, love you. you. Excuse me? What is happening here? Oh, oh, I see. So you're exhibiting the loose legs you learned from your slottish mother? How dare you? Are you mad? Do you want me to box your eye? Look, one day I will show you what I'm made of. What's wrong with you now? I'm waiting for that day, bitch. Bring it on. Bring it on! You want to fight me? Bring it on! Look at her. And you. God, you know, I thought... I thought you were a graduate. But I really wonder where your brains are. Yes. You should align yourself with us. Instead of aligning yourself with this... This... This hopeless fools! <laughs> Ally myself with you? Yes, of course. <laughs> oh, my dear Candy. You know something? The air blows to wherever it wishes. Just like the streams flow down their drain. You see, it is not by alliance. It is by manners. 
and you're mannerless. You're very stupid, okay? You're very stupid. Well, what do I even expect from you? What? A low life like you. So low life plus low life equals to scumbags of idiots. That's what you all are. You call us low lives? That's what you are. Well, you are worse than a low life. You are nothing but just a common do girl. Are you talking That's what you are. Hey, Linda, relax. Let her be. Let her just be. What did you say? Baby, let her just be. No, tell me, what did you say? You know, I don't understand this, your local slum slangs. Tell me, what do you mean by that rubbish? You can't talk. Oh, she's scared. The bitch is scared of me. Yes, talk. Uh, you know something, Linda? Um, I'm in a very good mood today, and I don't want one spoiled brat, mannerless fool, to spoil my day. Please, let's go and see my brother. Okay? I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Low lives. Low lives. Rubbish. Nonsense. Hi, dear. Hey, Mom. What Hi. are you doing? Uh, Mom, I'm just trying to go through that document I got from his office. I'm trying to get familiar with it. Okay. Darling, I want to go into town to get something. Okay, okay. Please, I beg you. I don't want you to engage in a fight with those rascals from the slums, okay? Mom, as long as they don't come my way, they have to stay off my own track. It's okay. It's fine. Take care. Mm. All right, Mommy. All right, then. Radio. And where is Josephine? I haven't seen her today. Ah. Uh, she did with her boyfriend. I wish other place she would do. She did with her boyfriend. Boyfriend? Yes, now. Where? Outside. She did with her boyfriend for herself. Where is she? Bo I still can't believe that fate can change so fast like this. I'm so happy for you and Linda. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. And I'm so happy too. Um, I thank God for everything. My only regret is that the man I've longed so bad to meet died moments after our meeting. It hurts. Yeah, it hurts. But let's thank God for what he has done at least. Yeah, that's true. I thank God <laughs> that everything has been resolved and now we're settled. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Joe? Mm. I, I really want you to go back to school. Really? Yes. Oh, that would be just great. You see, because, you see, what you need right now is education. Yo! Yo, so it's true! Instead of you to focus on your job, you're here messing around with this idiot like a shit got in heat! I'm sorry, ma'am. You're mad! I I'm sorry, I'm sorry, You know what, you're sorry for yourself. You just lost your job. Hey, uh -huh. yes! Sorry, Now, can't... you know what, I Josephine? Mean, please. Go in there, pack your miserable things out of my house. I don't want to see your back to your face anymore! She's going Get out. nowhere. Let's keep this quarrel between you and I, okay? Let's leave the innocent girl out of this. Oh, just the way you kept Faye out of the quarrel, right? That was different. You know what? I don't have time for this shit. Just go in there, you bitch, and pack your kids out! Said, she's not going anywhere. Don't she's try me. Candy. Don't I've try me. I respected you enough. Don't try me, house. bitch! She's not going Please, anywhere. Mad people everywhere. Sit there. It's you that's mad. Look, my dear. Let her leave. Let her leave. I mean, it's not even right for my future daughter-in-law to be working as a house help here, in her father-in-law's house. It is wrong. I thought you said you had a plan for her. Why not stick to that? Yes, eh? Mama. Let her leave. Let her go. It's better. Ah, oh, my dear, just go in, pack your things quietly, and I'm coming you know, see it's all right, my dear. Mama, but what Candy's doing is not right, and you know it. It's not right, my mom. She can't be embracing the poor girl like that. She has, she, we have equal rights in this house. I know. It's going to take time. It's going to take time. Just take it easy. You are the man now. Hmm? Mama? Mama, what is it? What's your face like? What is it? What happened? See, I'm, I'm just tired of this everyday fight, bitterness between both of you and your stepsister. The thing is wearing me out. I don't want any one of you to get hurt. It's too much. 
Mama, did anything happen while I was away? Yes, no, 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 not really. It's, it's just that your brother and and your stepsister were in a fight, and she, she asked uh, Josephine to leave the house. What? Uh, and your, it did not go down well with uh, Lister at all. Mama, where's Lister now? Lister? Uh, he, he escorted uh, Josephine, but he will soon be back. Oh. He will soon be back. What is wrong with this girl, Mama? Why is why, why does she keep uh, 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 disturbing people I love? Linda, what sort of nonsense is this? Now. Today she will have it to be my mama. I will bust her today. Don't, don't do why is she? Why is that stupid girl? Why is that stupid girl? Come on! Oh, why is she? Why is she? Linda, tell you to stay away from my family. How dare you? Go, go, go. Mama, leave me with this stupid girl. How dare you? Why are you back here? Oh, I'm back here. Yes. I am back here. I'm back here. I'm back here. I'm back here. I'm back here. Hold your daughter. Hold your daughter. Hold your daughter. Oh, my God. 